హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ పరమేశ్వరి అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆఫ్ కామర్స్ జమాల్ మహమ్మద్ కాలేజ్ తిరిచి టుడే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ బ్యాంకింగ్ ఓంబట్స్మెన్ బిఫోర్ గెట్ ఇన్ టు ద టాపిక్ లెట్ అస్ డిస్కస్ వాట్ ఈస్ బ్యాంక్ ఎ బ్యాంక్ ఇస్ అ ఫినాన్షియల్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్ దట్ మేక్స్ ఎ ప్రాఫిట్ బై టేకింగ్ పీపుల్స్ డెపాజిట్స్ అండ్ లెండింగ్ దట్ మనీ అట్ ఎ ప్రాఫిట్ in other words the institution charges more for its loans than it pays on deposits in fact banks pay no interest on some types of accounts such as checking accounts or current accounts sometimes they even charge a fee to look after customers money bank charges more for its loans and pays less interest on deposit this is how bank conducts business and earn profit as most of the banks are nationalized in turn the profits are spent on developmental activities the government holds higher shares and therefore there is an element of security for the money invested by the public apart from this the reserve bank also gives guarantee for different types of accounts banking product and services here I have mentioned the banking products and services which are provided by the bank to the customers. These basic services are common in nature across all banks. While availing these banking services, customer may face some difficulties, mainly financial losses for no fault of the customers. So, how to overcome this issue? How to seek redressal, compensation or settlement of disputed transaction? this is what we are going to discuss now now coming to this topic what is banking ombudsman banking ombudsman is created by the rbi to take care of the banking complaints of the general public in india it is a customer friendly and an inexpensive forum that is the banking ombudsman does not charge any fee for filing and resolving customers complaints banking ombudsman is introduced by rbi under section 35 banking regulation act 1949 it is established in 1995 the banking ombudsman scheme is for resolution of complaints relating to certain services rendered by banks ombudsman is a person is not an entity who will appoint the ombudsman the reserve bank may appoint one or more of its senior officers in the rank of chief general manager or general manager to be known as banking ombudsman for what to redress bank customer complaints against deficiency in banking services very clearly it is for deficiency in banking services it is a functionary appointed by the rbi to address and redress customer complaints against our grievances or against deficiency in banking services let me clarify if you get the inferior goods from the shopkeeper what will you do first thing you talk to the shopkeeper to exchange your goods or to get your money back isn't it if the shopkeeper is not willing to accept goods and replace or not willing to pay your money back what will you do you put a complaint on consumer court and get resolved isn't it because you were well aware of it right likewise many of us are facing issues while using different banking services but unfortunately we are not aware of the fact that we are in issue that could be resolved that too without cost and practically at no cost and that too sitting at home at ease due to misconception people think that what they are into is not an issue at all and as it is people avail the banking services but it could lead to financial exclusion now i need to explain 
what is financial exclusion what is financial inclusion financial inclusion means to bank the unbanked people financial exclusion means exclusion from formal financial services that is financially excluded people consistently depend on money lenders even for their day to day needs borrowing at excessive rates to finally get trapped in debt that is why avail formal banking services that to without any difficulties this is what banking ombudsman is doing as on date in india there are 22 banking ombudsman with their offices located mostly in state capitals they have been appointed by the rbi to hear grievances from the members of the public regarding deficiency in banking services it covers all kinds of banks including public sector banks private banks rural banks as well as cooperative banks that is any customer of any of these banks if she or he faces any banking related issues that can be solved by banking ombudsman how does banking ombudsman works what are the procedure for filing the complaint before the banking ombudsman customer can file a complaint with the banking ombudsman simply by writing on a plain paper it need not be attested complainant can also file it online or by sending an email to the banking ombudsman there is a complaint form along with the details of the scheme the banking ombudsman does not charge any fee for filing and resolving customers complaints you need to ensure two things the first one is you have to approach the bank and give a complaint in writing the second one is that give a 30 days time for the bank to reply or redress if the bank does not reply then you go to the banking ombudsman or the bank has replied on time and you are not satisfied within one year from the date of reply from the bank one can approach banking ombudsman when you go to the banking ombudsman all you have to do is to write carefully and submit all the relevant proofs these days as everything is recorded you can also ask for cctv footage if needed this is how you can lodge a complaint with the banking ombudsman every citizen of any nation should have formal bank accounts this leads to promote our country's economic growth this is our duty and this is our rights to get services in full fledged manner deficiency can be fulfilled when you know your rights thank you